Our first order of business in this video, I need to burst your bubble. I know that sounds weird. Bear with me. I know this topic is somewhat set up to convey the idea that the five fragrances we're going to talk about today will work for you. Now, they might because they smell great, but for your own sake, make sure you at least like them first. These are not just tools. These are extensions. Make sure they're extensions that you care about and trust me, they'll work even better. I highly recommend you sample these fragrances before you commit to any full bottles and you can get samples from today's video sponsor, which is Max Aroma. They offer these awesome five milliliter travel samples for most of their fragrances. You'll see it on the B roll. This is what the travel atomizer looks like. It is this faux leather wrap. It has a nice weight and feel to it. Very supple. The cartridge itself actually does come out so you can replace them with new fragrances whenever you're done and you can just keep it moving. Take it with you to go. If you need to re up, you can re up. Highly recommend checking these out from Max Aroma. And most of you probably already know this, but Max Aroma is a fantastic place to find niche and designer fragrances for discounted prices. I don't really need to speak for them. I know a lot of you guys have already made purchases from them. I have done so myself quite a bit in the past and they're simply another reliable source for authentic brand name fragrance products they have some awesome rewards programs that you can join if you do make frequent purchases from them if you already make purchases from them and you're not part of their rewards program what are you doing it's like using a credit card and not getting any miles what are you doing so they're going to be linked down in the description make sure you check out max aroma if you haven't already the five fragrances we're talking about today are sweeter and warmer profiles these are going to be cozier scent personalities ones that are easier to be next to we're talking about date night in not out you're staying in what will you be doing while you're in with your date And as is appropriate, these fragrances will not be terribly strong. Although most of them, longevity will not be an issue, but you don't need eight plus hours for this kind of scenario, unless you don't plan on sleeping. What do you mean by that? Moving on. Let's jump right into these five fragrances. First one up is from the house of Frappon. A lot of people complain about the performance of most fragrances from this house. I happen to love them. Their scent personalities more than compensate for what could be considered a lack of performance, but they actually last just fine for me. They just don't push off the skin all that much and that's not always necessary. But this one up is called 1270 Extreme. This is a flanker to their renowned 1270, which is lovely. And again, it doesn't perform all all that well in terms of its noticeability in the air, but I think that's perfect for this scenario. This is a sweet, fruity, ambery, resinous fragrance. There's a little bit of freshness from some white florals in there, a touch of a powdery quality, but you do get this juicy pineapple. You do get tonka bean, vanilla. It is succulent without smelling overly gourmand. It does not smell like something you want to eat, but it does smell delicious and super, super easy to get next to. Let me know if you enjoy 1270 Extreme from Frappon. If you're asking me this fragrance is a masterpiece in the designer world, I don't use that word lightly. It started a collection that's one of the few collections of fragrances whose flankers are not redundant. Thank you. From Guerlain, L'Homme Ideal, The Eau de Toilette. I know there's many of you already getting ready to dispute what I just said in the comments about Guerlain being a designer house. If you want to learn more about why I think that is, I'm not going to waste time explaining it here. Check out this video I recently did about my favorite designer brands, and I will explain it all there. But Lone Medial strikes that perfect balance of wearability and uniqueness. It is this cherry-like, creamy, sweet, bitter almond that is the primary component of its DNA with some leather that's pretty supple and a little bit dry, but there is a freshness to it. There is a masculine, woody quality to it that especially comes out on my skin. It might even be some vetiver. Ultimately, it is cozy. It is a little bit sweet. This is lovely stuff. The bottle is going to look different nowadays, so don't be alarmed. This is the old style, but the new style is definitely out there. And as far as I know, the fragrance hasn't changed. From BDK, we have Gris Charnel x -Straight. This is one of the sexiest fragrances out there. And one of the reasons why is because of a single note, the note of cardamom. Cardamom is a special one. It's a very alluring and sensual note. It brings a sweet, fresh, spicy quality to many fragrances. It is very distinct. And here it's blended with a very unique mix of components that on paper seem kind of strange. 
fig, sandalwood, iris. It almost has a tropical feel in a way. It is sweet, spicy, a little bit powdery. Also can't forget about the black tea, which adds a calming, slightly sweet herbal quality to the scent. And there's quite a bit of vanilla, bringing a warm sweetness. What I love about this fragrance, when it dries down, that sandalwood brings a texture. It's not just smooth, creamy goodness that you wanna get next to. It gets a little bit dusty and dry, and maybe a little bit more mysterious in a way. It could be worn on a date night out, but we're talking in. It's pretty present. It is an extract to parfum. You don't need much. Two to three sprays, you're good. That is Gris Charnel Extract. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrance discoveries of last year, and I am getting some more wear out of it this fall. This is one of my wife's favorites. Is it the most unique fragrance in the world? No, but it is so well done. From Vertus, Vanilla Oud. There was a craze about this one last year. It's died down now, so the bottle should be pretty easy to find, but again, sample it first. Oh man, it does have a westernized Middle Eastern feel. There is a warm, smoky, like roasted vanilla amber. The wood is really the roasted feel that is not overly oody. It doesn't smell stinky or anything edgy at all. It is perfectly wearable and approachable, almost edible smelling in a way. It can also be pretty classy and it is not a slouch. I wouldn't spray a ton of it. It's not a huge projector, but it has a great sillage that it leaves. So again, two to three sprays, all you need. And if you have a date coming over, maybe spray it on, in fact, for all of these fragrances, spray it on 20 to 30 minutes prior to their arrival so it's not just filling up everything and just overwhelming them. Be courteous, guys. This is Vertus Vanilla Oud. Let me know if you dig this one. Perfect for fall, perfect. Check it out. And top of the list, this is one of the coziest fragrances I think you can get. Great quality stuff, very alluring. It is composed in the perfect way to where its presence is not too strong, but definitely strong enough. From the House of Fragrance Dubois, this is Secret Tryst. Name is perfect too. Also a good bit of cardamom in here, but it is not quite as aromatic. It's not quite as fresh in this one. You do get more of a warm, spicy, ambery, dusty sweetness in here. I get woods, I get a little bit of rose. I get a lot of spicy saffron, which adds to that warm, spicy quality, which really adds to the coziness. I think the cardamom pulls you in, the saffron keeps you there. And you have a bit of incense and vanilla in the background. I think that also contributes to this dustiness, this almost wispy quality. It is kind of magical when you get a whiff of this stuff. This is simply sexy. That's the best word I can put to this one. But if you're looking for something good quality that definitely smells niche and that definitely fulfills this role, check out Secret Twist. Link down below. Okay, let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances. Once again, they're gonna be linked down below at Max Aroma. Let's talk about them down in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.